And now we'll go to Minneapolis. Okay, Minneapolis, we can't hear you. Good afternoon, so. Mr. Chairman. Okay, ah. good. We can hear you now. Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman. My name is Al Amdahl. I teach uh, economics and government in Albany. And many of us work hard to teach the importance of saving and investing, yet interest rates of return are at historic lows. How can we teach students that they will be rewarded for saving, given that returns on investments are currently so low? Oh, good question. Um, so obviously interest rates are very low. Uh, they're low for a good reason, I would want to say, <laughs> which is that um, uh, our economy is, uh, is still uh, in a fragile recovery. And uh, low interest rates are intended to help the economy recover and to re restore more normal levels of employment um, and growth in our in our economy. Um, for it, for savers, for investors, it is essential that um, the economy be strong overall. If you think about what investors invest in, some of it, of course, is in fixed so-called fixed income instruments like uh, like certificates of deposit or government bonds. But a lot of what people invest in are stocks and, and corporate debt and uh, small businesses and a variety of other kinds of assets. And those assets are not going to perform well unless the economy is strong. So the kind of return that you can get as an investor and as a saver uh, depends on having a strong economy. And there's really no shortcut to that. And that's the reason why we have uh, low interest rates now as a way of trying to restore that vitality that will make, uh, uh, inv give investors higher returns in the future. So that's the reason that rates are low, but of course they are low. That being said, I think that um, there's an awful lot that can be taught. Um, even with rates being low, there's still many incentives uh, to save if you want to buy a house. Uh, now, since the financial crisis, down payment requirements are much higher than they were. You can't get by with no down payment in most cases. Um, uh, if you want to go to uh, college and increase your uh, earning power, um, if you want to retire, it, all the many uh, uh, things that people want to plan for over their, over their lives still require uh, saving. Um, so, in fact, you probably have to save more you know, with rates low in order to get to a certain point. Um, and there's a lot to be learned about it because, for example, uh, if you're going to be saving, you don't, again, don't want to save in just one form. You want to uh, diversify. You want to save in different types of assets. You need to understand the trade-off between risk and return. Um, you need to understand how uh, taxes affect the returns of different types of assets. So um, there's a great deal to be learned about how to save and how to invest, even in a low interest rate environment. Um, and uh, uh, I think students uh, find it pretty interesting um, to uh, have, for example, a um, make-believe portfolio, make their investments, and they can check the paper every morning and see how they did, and they may learn that um, uh, putting all their eggs in one basket may not be the best idea. And so there are many basic ideas like diversification and risk, and, uh, and risk reduction that uh, uh, students can learn and would enjoy learning. <laughs>